Hey everyone, I'm Chris Baker, and these are your Sabres Prospects goal highlights for the week of December 1st through the 7th of 2023. We're going to begin this week with Sevalod Komarov scoring the final goal of his career with the Quebec Remparts before being dealt to the Drummondville Voltageur. Some nice moves on display there around the net from Komarov. He has that club in the bag, doesn't get to use it a lot. Permont au rempart de réduire la marque à deux buts. Komarov a été patient avec le disque, a contourné la défensive et est venu porter la rondelle de derrière le filet jusqu'à la gauche du gardien Ozols. Premier but en troisième période, c'est 5 à 3 la marque, un troisième cette saison. These next two goals by Komarov came in his first two games as a member of the Voltageur. And they come from the flavor that we're normally used to seeing with Komarov. First one there is a bomb from the point. Second one again from range that we're going to see here. But he's going to take a little bit of the ice that's given to him to get off a higher probability shot. Neutralize a high-powered offense of the Drummondville Voltageur. Komarov has broken the goose egg. It's one nothing. Certainly traffic in front of Lever with Goche and Woodworth tied up. And I don't know what kind of a view Lever had of that shot. Komarov definitely got all of it when he got that pass from the half wall. Well, there was lots of bodies in front. Goche trying to clear it out, but I don't know if Lever even saw that shot. We're going to get a look at the overhead. Boy. Yeah, clean as a whistle there. Now this one, the puck's going to come over to Komarov. He's going to have a little bit of ice to skate into. He's going to take that 8 to 10 feet, get a quick shot off, and beat the goaltender cleanly. These goals here are exactly why Komarov was going to be a hot commodity at the QMJHL trade deadline. And Drummondville played, paid a pretty good price to get him. Next couple of clips here are going to come courtesy of Matthew Savoy, who's continued to shred the WHL as a member of the Wenatchee Wild. These first three goals are going to be a hat trick that he had in the game against Portland. First one was a nice easy shot there, but this second one coming up is a little bit more of a beauty where you're going to see him use his speed to back off defenders, and then he can just dance around guys when he gets them moving that way. Hammers one to the back of the net, and another one for the wild time of the goal. 17 seconds of the second period. Period. All right, here we go. He's going to get the puck here, and he's just going to wind it up. Back at the dot. It goes to Savoy. Savoy driving in. Top shelf. He scores. All the way down the slot and all the way to the back of the Nice dangle. Nice finish. made it 4-2. And then in a moment here, you'll see Savoy. He's going to complete the hat trick on a nice near side shot from range. Another quick release. Savoy, mercy. Mercy indeed. Portland did their best to stop him. They hoped to contain him. They were not able to do those. Teams in all of junior hockey worldwide. It is 5-2 Wenatchee. Right hash mark. Off the break is Josh Davies. Okay, he's going to break out of the zone with speed. Get the puck here. For Geeky, wild enter on time. Left back for Savoy, rich shot, he scores! They've already thrown teddy bears! How about a couple of hats as well? I guess it really wasn't with speed that he broke out of the zone. He scored so many goals this year. I guess I had forgotten how he acquired the puck on that particular play. But nonetheless, we're going to get to see a few more goals here from Savoy before we move on to the next prospect that contributed to this week's highlight pack. And this wild team is flying at 
And Luca Cagnoni will throw it off his own glass to get this one out of the defensive zone. Picked up by Shelter between the blue lines. And a pass by the bench, intercepted. Savoy back and attacking. Matt Savoy right side lost the handle. Portland's Ulsher at his own blue line stumbles a bit. Now puts one rink wide and it's chased down by Matt Savoy. Savoy picks up on the wing. Savoy shoots. Savoy scores. Okay, now that's his a broadcast glitch. Weekend. That's not Hit my glitch. Spot over the glove but you will get to see the Justin release of the puck here on the replay. 6 to go in regulation. And the Wild get an early one to start their third period. Yeah, just an unfortunate turbo turnover for Portland. They're in their own zone right at the blue line. Matthew Savoy picks it up. Just a glove side snipe from the dot for Savoy. Driving it in. Plays it across, wanted to go to the top of the slot, instead went all the way through. They had to play it off the carom. Geeky looking to get a shot. Wild entered three on two. Chopped down to the end boards for Geeky from Wu one timer. They score. Holla back. Small Savoy. detail there, but Savoy was kind of right at the edge of the crease. And you notice how he had a teammate beneath the goal line with the puck, and Savoy backed out into some space and actually took himself further away from the net to better accept a pass to get the shot off and score the goal. That's hockey sense. The Tri-City Americans. A one-timer right at the bottom corner of the face-off circle, Matthew Savoy. He just doesn't miss, does he? Wilder. Pretty smooth finish here from Alexander Kizikov in the shootout wide to the right side over the smooth line, moves back into the slot pulling it in back and forehand backhand scores. made it look easy kiss makes it look easy puts it away on the backhand that's what i said don and the amerix up one glad we agree in the shootout typical anton Wahlberg here 24 and white hanging out around the net rotates high stays in the middle of the ice right there to accept the short pass for the finish that was Wahlberg's third goal of the season. He'll be representing Sweden at the upcoming World Junior Championship. It's Kulik dropping it down, side and it gets a return pass on the right wing side. Top for Clegg down on the left wing boards. Clegg and Kulik are going to play catch ball. here. That's and Kulik's going to unload one of his patented right side bombs on the power play. Left. On the right side, one time shot. They Bang. score! One timer off the right wing boards by Kulik. Looked like Mandelaise got a piece of it, but it popped up in the air, came down inside the back post, and a power play goal for the Amherst. Rochester scoring first here tonight. And that power play was just about to expire. Time of this one at 17.29. Number 39, Yuri Smako. Time of the goal, 12.41 of the second period. It's going to be Kulik again Whoa. scoring Smeko this goal. Kind of showing his overall Puck development the here. After the puck's going to the left wing side, come back, into the right boards, the slot, and the Amherst are going to get in there and convert and scrum it away. The There's Kulik corner, coming in. Now watch what he does. Just shuts that guy to the ice. As they tie up along the and near he's going to get to the front of the net, the and Rusek's going to hit him with a really it's nice pass. Got top pass on the right side. Rusek in front. Ah, shot, great play all the way around. That was a great pass from the corner by Rusek in front. Kulik was there. Tips it through the feet of Mandelaise, and the Amherst come right back and tie this one up. Great passing combination. Rochester goal at 13-27. Здесь на коротке по-прежнему Полтапов. Хорошая передача. Посмотрите, как разыгрывают Арбейки. there, 13 and white. You're going to notice he does that a lot. He'll get the puck beneath the goal line and he changes direction quickly. That's kind of his hallmark move when he's playing low. He's very shifty with the puck, gets himself some space, and he gets rewarded there by getting the puck back for the finish. And that ended a 21-game goal drought for Prokhor Poltapov. Poltapov in the end will get the ball and played с партнерами, ну и классные передачи соответственно от Провольнева и Андрея Светлакова и при этом на пятаке там еще и Кирилл Долженков поработал вот смотрите, как разрисовали а. даже не успевал в данной ситуации Дмитрий Шикин переместиться, вот в такой пул позиции оказался 
each period, close out each game. And I think the difference in the game is the way they close nice out. Nice power the play finish here from Sardarian with play. authority. Yeah, real turning point this guy just looks like a pro. You know, he's wide open. Watch his shot. Bang. It's more impressive here on the replay. Okay, well, not a lot that uh, Boy is going to do on that. That's a beautiful feed over over to Sardarian. Watch the nice feed there by Conmi and one-timer just hammers it. And uh, Boy just doesn't have a chance. Definitely hammered there. Just can't get over there in time. Jollekin lamassa ei joutuu hakemaan sieltä todella kova. Paakkola taklauksen ottaa vastaan. Paakkola pysyy edelleen kiekossa ja löytää jollain ihmeen konstilla sieltä viivasta. Sitten Bernardson ja nyt on puolittain Bernardson yksin läpi. Skinnari mukana ja Bernardson a guy that in space he can really wheel with it. And he has a really nice release of the shot. And he shows it there with a nice night. Pistää kiekkoa sinne ja lukemat on yhdessä yhdessä. Olihan loistava kääntö kyllä. Joel Bernardson. I realized my fat head was in the way of his name. That's Joel Matkovich Bernson. Far boards. Miedema comes away with it. Tried to get it out to Hamstrom. Jamming at it. In the air. Right there's Miedema. Turns and shoots it. Oh. Scramble at the top of the metallic. There you have it, folks. Those are your goal highlights from the Sabres prospects in early December. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again next week.